Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to do a few derivative examples uh, where we have to use the product rule. And the first thing I want to talk about is when you need to use the product rule. And notice in this example how we have two parentheses being multiplied by each other. We have a 3x plus 5 being multiplied by the 2x squared minus 3. Um, so it's pretty common sense since you have these two things being multiplied by each other uh, that you can't use the basic power rule uh, when taking this derivative. Um, so that is the main idea behind the product rule, is when you have two things being multiplied by each other, uh, you have to use the product rule. And the two things being multiplied by each other can be labeled, and I'm going to label the first thing being multiplied, so our first parentheses of 3x plus 5, I'm going to call that our first, since it comes first. And the second thing being multiplied which is our 2x squared minus 3. Um, since it comes second, I'm going to label that our second thing. And basically what the product rule says, and I wrote this for you in the green equation in the top right, it says that the derivative is equal to d first multiplied by the second. Um, so what d first means is the derivative of the first thing uh, multiplied by the second plus the first multiplied by d second, and d second is just a deriv derivative of the second thing. So using that formula, we can just dig right into our derivative. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this example and take the derivative. And what I like to do uh, when taking the derivative using the product rule, uh, whenever I use the product rule, I like to make four parentheses. And we know from the product rule formula that in the first parentheses, we're going to put the derivative of the first thing. In the second parentheses, we're just going to put our second. In the third parentheses, we're going to put our first. And in our last parentheses, we're going to put our d second, which is our derivative of the second. So let's just plug everything into our parentheses. In our first parentheses, we're going to put our d first, um, which is the derivative of the first. Since our first is 3x plus 5, the derivative of 3x plus 5 is just 3. So I'm going to put a 3 in my first parentheses. In our second parentheses, we're going to put our second thing being multiplied. Um, since our second is 2x squared minus 3, I'm just going to copy that. 2x squared minus 3 exactly the way it is. In our third parentheses, we're going to put our first thing being multiplied. Um, since our first is 3x plus 5, I'm going to put my 3x plus 5 in the third parentheses. And then in the last parentheses, we're going to put our d second, the derivative of the second. Um, since the second is 2x squared minus 3, uh, the derivative of 2x squared minus 3 is just 4x. Now we have taken the derivative using the product rule. And as always, we need to simplify this as much as possible. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit to give me a little bit extra space. To simplify this, I'm going to distribute the 3 with the 2x squared and negative 3. And I'm also going to distribute the 4 with the 3x and the positive 5. So after we multiply everything together, we get a 3 multiplied by a 2x squared, which is just 6x squared. We get a 3 multiplied by a negative 3, which is just negative 9. We get a 3x multiplied by a 4x, which is a positive 12x squared. And we have a 5 multiplied by a 4x, which is just positive 20x. And now we can combine like terms. We have a positive 6x squared and a positive 12x squared. Uh, that becomes 18x squared. And we can't forget about our 20x and our negative 9. Now we have completely taken the derivative using the product rule. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.